Hi, uh, my name is Gerald Schell. I'm a neurosurgeon at Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery. The laminectomy is a common neurosurgical procedure done on the lower back or could be done on the neck. It's done from the back of the body where the roof of the part of the roof of the spine is removed. The roof is the so-called lamina and that allows us to explore a pinched nerve. And so by removing the bone of the roof and exposing the nerve, we're then able to unpinch the nerve. It's a common neurosurgical procedure that is done to simply um, decompress or unpinch uh, nerves, creating painful, position, uh, painful situations both in the neck, the thoracic, or the lower spine. If you have um, a problem where you have difficulty walking, much more than a block or two, where the legs get numb, numb or weak, if you have a problem where you have to uh, go to bathroom or urinate very frequently or at times lose control of either of your bladder or bowel, um, if you have a problem where you have severe pain, numbness, or weakness of your legs or your arms, that can be a warning sign for a condition called spinal stenosis. If you have spinal stenosis, the best treatment for that would be to unpinch the nerves that are compressed with a laminectomy, which could be done in the lower back or the neck or in, in rare instances, the thoracic spine. Uh, during a laminectomy, um, you'll be put asleep, you'll be lying on your stomach, an incision will be made in the back of your spine where the muscles will be separated uh, uh, from the back, the roof of the spine, the lamina will be removed in order to expose and unpinch the nerves in the spine causing these symptoms. The recovery in laminectomy can range depending upon the location of the body and the number of levels from about uh, one week to four weeks with the healing of the tissues. And then the um, strengthening of the adjacent joints can sometimes take two to, three week, or two to three months before we would initiate aggressive physical therapies to recover from the surgical procedure. If you think you need this procedure, set up an appointment with your primary doctor who can refer you to Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery using this website. If you have any more questions about your procedure, you can click on contact button just above me to the right where you can write an email to our staff or call us at the number listed. Thank you and we look forward to taking care of you here at Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery.